Yeah, so in elementary school, right, I had a certain principal until I... What a snipe. And the backwards snipe to add it, too. I had a certain principal, I think, up until I was in first grade, right? My brother had the, the principal for longer. But basically, like, the our new principal, when I was in, like, first grade, we got a new principal that replaced it, right? And this principal sucked. Like, they just were not good. They just made a bunch of dumb rules, basically. How'd he pass me? How'd the lightning not hit him? He must have had invincibility. Right at the end. And he squished me too. Okay, okay, restart, restart. So we had a principal in first grade, right? Uh, a new principal coming in first grade. She just was not nearly as good. She kind of like, she basically killed all the fun. She was basically a buzzkill is the best way to put it. She was a buzzkill for a bunch of stuff. Anyway, we had a game. You know, there's, you know, in elementary school, you're at recess. You know, you're playing with pretty much all the kids at recess normally. There's generally like a bunch of boys playing or bench, bun usually a bunch of girls playing. Not to say that girls and boys can't play together, but you know, generally when you're younger, that kind of thing happens where you have a big divide. You know, boys are generally playing sports. Girls are, do I don't even know what the hell girls do at tired at, at recess because I, I didn't play with them. Anyways, they're just playing their own games. Anyways, you know, I, I at least it liked sports. You know, I was a fan of sports when I was a young kid. So I generally like to play, you know, things like kickball or wall ball. Exactly. Girls have cooties. Anyway, so I generally like to play like things like kickball, wall ball, uh, like soccer, you know, whatever it was, whatever the sport was happening. You know, generally things rotated at least in my elementary school, right? So this this new this new principal comes in and she, uh, uh, four square was another one, four square was another one. Really good one. This principal just loved to absolutely kill every single fun, you know, game that we had, basically, is I guess what her plan was. It was just to kill the fun for the boys, I guess. I don't know. She hated us. I don't know why. The f I mean, I don't know exactly what order that she killed them in, but one of the games that we played was a soccer-based game, and, and the, the guys called it World Cup, right? Basically, it was, uh, you play in, I think we'd either do solo or duos, right? Solos or duos, kind of like kind of like your your basic BRs. Anyway, you'd pick like a country. I usually pick Greece, because I'm, I'm, I'm Greek. Uh, Anyways, you pick some country to represent. If you represent that country, all you had to do was basically shout the name of your country before you shot your goal. And then if you made your goal, you would move on to the next round. If you didn't say your country, but it still made the goal, then you did. it didn't count and you'd have to keep going. And uh, then the last person, so then like eventually it'd be like down to a 1v1 for that round, right? Hopefully, I hope this makes sense. I hope this makes sense so far. Hopefully everyone's, you know, catch along what the game is about. And um, there'd basically be a 1v1 at the end of the round, right? Uh, for that round was and then the last person did not get a goal in would then be eliminated right i mean it's generally how like a world cup tournament works teams get eliminated it, it happens right anyway one kid i guess got super butthurt like we were like i mean he, he played right he got super butthurt that he got eliminated though at the end and then he went to the principal and the principal was like we can no longer play this game because kids are getting eliminated and it's like are you kidding me we can't play world cup anymore just because one kid got butthurt about getting eliminated like god damn this is what this is what happens in life man i don't know what to tell you like it, I, sorry to say it it's not like we were excluding from the game you know it's not like we were being mean about it it was just the rules that was just the rules of the game like i don't understand it's like if we kick someone out like no you can't play because whatever oh sweet we got first anyways i'm telling a story but it was like it was like are you kidding me you're really good you're really gonna just ban this game you're gonna ban this game because someone got eliminated and got super butthurt so we can play world cup anymore it's just a major buzz kill right it's like it's like not even like we were being mean and like bullying the kid or whatever it was yeah yeah it's like it was just so it's like everyone was like what the hell like like why are you like i don't think I, there's like no one that got mad like obviously you get a little bit sad it's like damn i'm the one who got eliminated like obviously it sucks it's not fun to get eliminated but i think like most kids are like oh, that's that's you know i i played the worst like like, I got eliminated, right? This is how it was. And generally, it would only last, like, a couple days, right? Like, like we, it was, like, it, we'd probably be playing for, like, two months or something. But like, it was, like, for a while. And, you know, it would, it would be, like, a rotation. So, it was, like, it's, like, a, a, a cup would, would probably last, like, maybe a little bit less than a week or something, right? It's, like, every day at recess, you play, and then you continue where you left off until there was a winner. A big winner, right? Yeah, like, there's no exclusion. So, yeah, buzzkill, right? Major buzzkill. I have, there, this teacher wanted to buzzkill everything, right? There was also, obviously, dodgeball. Dodgeball, another classic. Another classic game. Who's never played dodgeball in their time at elementary school, right? Super, super fun game. Everyone loves it. Generally, you have two teams, you know, split split amongst the middle. And you get these nice big rubber balls, which I think we didn't even play with the rubber balls. I think we played with the foam balls, which don't even, like, hurt if you chuck them hard. Anyways, so we have these... You know, dodgeball. And like, you know, at first it's like, okay, don't do headshots. And it's like, all right, I can understand that. We're little kids and you don't want headshots on someone. Like, fair enough. Fair enough, right? No headshots. All right, whatever. I don't think anyone was really going for headshots that much. Maybe there was someone who, who did it every once in a while. It was funny. Whatever. No headshots, sure. That's a fine rule. Eventually, just had to ban dodgeball because you're just throwing balls at each other. And it's like, I get that it's like, I guess it's violence. But it, it's, it, is it really? We're using foam balls. Everyone understands this game. You don't have to play if you don't want to. Like, I feel like you know what you're signing up 
for if you sign up for dodgeball, right? Like, if you sign up, like, hey, I want to play dodgeball. It's like, it's not like anyone's forcing you to come play dodgeball here. It's like, it's a, it's a great game. And, you know, I can, I can understand the no headshots rule, but, you know, eventually. Yeah, it's just dodge the ball, right? Right? It's, it's exactly, it's just dodge the ball. She eventually was like, no more dodgeball. Can't play that because we're throwing balls at each other. And it's like, I guess it's perpetuating violence in schools. All right, well, dodgeball's out of the game, too. Now, I should say this, too. This is no particular order, right? I don't remember the order that she banned the games. Okay, dodgeball's out. Can't play dodgeball anymore because I, I guess it's too violent. That's sad. There's another one. This is a good. This is a good one. This is a good one. I, I might even need to stop. Uh, stop playing Mario Kart after this. I'm trying. To, I got. There's. There's one more I know off the top of my head, right? So, I, have you guys ever played wall ball? I'll probably leave this one. I gotta explain wall ball. Wall ball is a whole other story. Wall ball. Some of it I understand, right? Some of it I understand. But like, like there was some things that were kind of banned. But basically, she killed so much fun out of out of wall ball that we just stopped playing entirely. So she basically banned it, right? All right. It's kind of like tennis against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like tennis against the wall. So like, uh, let me explain wall ball really quick. Let me. <laughs> Let me explain wall ball. Let me extend this friend request and I'll explain wall ball with, with MS Paint. We'll go into MS Paint here. Let me explain this though. Let me explain this. Um, so this is this is what we had. This is this is wall ball, right? This is wall ball. Let me get my paint up. And like, oh, like my school is so perfect for it too. My like, so basically, here's like the entrance of my school, right? Here's like the entrance of my elementary school. And there's like this big black top, right? It's like this is like a big. Maybe it's not this big, but it's like a pretty big, pretty big black top. And there's like four square here and here. And then there's like all this and like here's a fence and like this is the black top right okay right so so this is what we got this is what we got right so this is this is like this is like basically the entrance of my of my school this is like four square here and we got the black top over here right we have the black top over here so we had just this ginormous wall now i'm gonna kind of draw this wall out of proportion but basically this is the wall right but it was like it was very tall but like this is the wall and it was completely flat like no windows it was just completely a big flat brick wall perfect right absolutely Perfect. So good. And there's just so much room. For little kids, you can have like you can have like 20 kids all here. So it was great. There's this big, big wall to play wall ball on. And there's like two bushes here. There's like one here and one here. So there's like little entrance here too. And this is this is critical of the story, right? This is critical of the story. And what we get is hold on. Um this is so it's, it's so good, right? So then we have we have these. This is what we'd play with. Oh, dude, these and these are so great. I love these things. These things are awesome. So we have this. We have this. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. They're like these spaldings, you know, these wall balls that at least we do call them. These spaulding pinky wall balls, right? And these things, these things bounce. I mean, if you chuck it to the ground, it's going high. It's zooming into the skies, right? Up in the space. These things are bouncy. They hit hard. So you can chuck it to the wall and it, it, it's great. It's so great. So the basics of wall ball, if you don't know, it's like you'd throw it at the wall, it would bounce on the blacktop and someone would have to catch it. I think if you like stumbled and kind of had those butter fingers, didn't catch it, it slipped up and boom, you're out. Sorry to say, come back next time, right? Anyways, so that's the name of the game. There was a variation we played and I, I'll i say that, I'll, I'll start with this. I can understand why they would have to ban this version of the game, right? But to, to kind of change the rules of wall ball so much, it did kind of suck. Anyways, we had this variation of the game, right? So if you messed up and, and you know slipped up with with the ball, what you do is we make the kids go into this little in this little section of of the bushes here. It's like a, it's a pretty small section. You can like climb under here under the bushes whatever but like we have a kid here and then there'd be like a kid standing I don't know 6 feet back right around the the thing and the goal was this is the goal. This is the goal. The kid would be standing there. This is what would happen, right? This is what would happen. They'd be standing back against the kid. So it'd be like this. It'd be like this, right? like this. Understood? Understood? So you'd have the back facing the kids, and you'd have, generally we'd pick like the strongest, you know, person, a little bit chunky, maybe a little bit stocky, great pitch darn. And they'd, I mean, they would chuck it, right? I mean, absolutely whip it at the person's back. And, and we're like in first, second grade, right? Or I guess before first grade, because she came in first grade. So I, I mean, absolutely whip it at their backs. And it was fun as shit. I'm not going to lie. I loved it. It was a great game. So I can understand, you know, kind of banning that part at some point. And these, you know, we'd have just these kids with these ginormous, almost welts in their back. I mean, we're probably not throwing it that hard, but we're all in first grade. So it's hard for, you know, it, it, it's hard for a first grader anyway. And then like, I think if you, I think if you got chucked, yeah, it was kind of like, it was like this sting thing, right? And, and if you got chucked, I think you were able to like stay in the game or whatever the rule was. I don't exactly know, but that was basically it. You'd be able to just, I mean, whip it at them, right? So I can, I can, from a, from a principal's perspective, I can be like, all right, 
don't do that. Sure. For, for the most part, when we're playing wall ball, for the most part, when we're playing wall ball, right? It's like, we're not really chucking it at the wall. We're just playing the game. We're playing the game, right? And then she made a rule where you had to wear like these super duper high tech protective goggles. Basically, you'd have to be wearing rec specs. You'd basically have to be wearing rec specs if you wanted to play some wall ball. And no kid, I'm sorry. <laughs> At least when I'm growing up, if you're playing like, like, um, paddle ball now, you know, I can understand it because those things whip fast because you need rackets, but we're all in like first grade. We're not, we're not throwing that hard. And if you wanted to play wall ball, you had to wear these. Now, if you don't know, in first grade, if you walk into school with some rec specs on, sorry to say, and I'm not, I'm not trying to promote this, but everyone knew you were probably going to get bullied. And I'm not saying that's a good thing, but you're probably going to get bullied if you've come to school. And so it was kind of like this unwritten rule that... Well, wall ball's dead. She killed wall ball too. She killed wall ball. Yeah, because like those kids can be annoying sometimes. And it's, and it's, I'm not trying to like, but like every kid kind of knew that, right? Like you, like as a child, you, it's just social awareness. It's just social awareness, right? It's like, you know, if I, if I'm the only kid coming in with this, like I'm probably going to get bullied and you're not going to be the one, you're not going to be the one kid coming in with rec specs. Now, if I'm going to go play, you know, I think it's called paddle ball or racquetball, right? Racquetball now. Yeah. I think the only time I'd actually wear these is in racquetball, which is actually seems like a sick game. But the thing is, is like everyone wears them because like you're whipping this. I would wear rec specs for this. Cause I mean, you're basically using that same ball and you're whipping it with a racket in a very closed environment. That thing's bouncing around my eyes are not going to begin with. Obviously, you can't tell I'm wearing glasses, so my eyes aren't very good. Uh, if I'm playing a pretty serious game, I would maybe be wearing some rec specs for this, but I'm also, at this point, I'm also 22, and I'm not afraid to just be made fun of for wearing some rec specs in order to protect my precious eyes. I'd rather them not. I would rather not, uh, you know, break my eyes, but we're in first grade, kindergarten, whatever it is, and if you're the only kid coming in, you're, you're going to get bullied. If you go in a racquetball environment, obviously, that, that's the point, though, right? So she killed wall ball, too. So she killed wall ball, too. Basically, at, at that point, everyone's like, okay, like, like we could still play wall ball, but, I mean, every kid knew that it was dead. So we also have another classic case. Uh, this game, I mean, we never... <laughs> she busted my child a little bit. Thankfully, thankfully, she never took away kickball. Kickball always remained. That was easily an S-tier game, you know, especially during the, during the warm months of, you know, beginning of the year, September's, and then once you get towards the end, like, April, May, June. Because uh, I got out late June. I got out super late June. So thankfully, you know, she kickball never got banned kickball was a staple definitely an s tier recess game that uh that remained that remains for for my entirety uh, of elementary school which is really really good this one now another other game that she kind of killed which i can sort of understand right i can sort of understand is um i don't i never really played so i was never really a fan of football but i do feel like this actually happened i should say i do think this happened actually before i even entered or when i was very young so football obviously is a very rough game especially when you're in first grade or however young you know football obviously he had to get banned as well unfortunately now i was never a big fan of football i'm, I'm a smaller person that was always small was always one of the shortest kids in my grade i was never really one to play football but i don't really think it was very big in my grade because i believe in my brother's grade so i was in first grade i believe my brother was in fourth or fifth he was in fourth i think there's a kid who broke his arm at my elementary school someone who broke his arm playing tackle football and i can i can totally understand banning tackle football i think i think touch football just just came with that though i think we just couldn't even play touch football now football is a bit more of a rough game so I can understand having to ban variations of that. That's a bit more understandable, right? I can feel like I feel like touch football should still be in, but that was that was gone too. I'm pretty sure. I don't think we ever played uh, football. So that, well, that's like that's like four recess games basically that this principal came in and slowly buzz killed over my course at elementary school, right? Not a very fun time. So yeah, I mean, football is a rough rough game. So I don't even know if we're allowed to play. We have pee wee football around these parts. I don't even know when you're allowed to play. And there's a couple stories I know. <laughs> of there's a couple uh there's a couple of stocky kids that you know you know growing up and some of them are so big that they're actually not allowed to play football because they're afraid that they're gonna hurt the other children now that does kind of suck for those kids but at the same time you got to protect the kids so uh, football is a bit more understandable <laughs> but yeah it's like that's at least four recess games that this principal kind of came in and just slowly buzz killed over my time at elementary school and it's not fun i think wall ball and world cup are some of the worst uh dodgeball too like it just it pains me to just just feel like like they just absolutely got rid of 
Yeah, so like football, I'd say football is honestly the most understandable one, right? Because it's not like there's any like rules and regulations during recess. And for kids, it's just a ginormous liability. Like, my God. So that was a bit more understandable, but it just adds to the story, basically. It's not like, it's not like we only banned football and it's like, okay, that kind of makes sense, right? It's like, no, she got rid of everything one at a time. I don't know. It just, it just felt like everything would put, was come to a stop. This is even like a recess thing eventually, but I remember that me and my friend, because I don't know, little boys are weird, including myself. I'm an odd, odd child, right? Kids are just weird. But there's that one point where me and my best friend, we were just straight up for like a week. We were just digging a hole with a stick. It wasn't even a very big stick. We were just digging a, digging a hole. Seeing as, seeing as deep as we get with like a puny stick like this big. I'm just like scratching at the dirt, right? Just seeing as, seeing as deep as I can go. Eventually it's like, stop digging in the, in the yard. And it's like, well, that, that's ruined too. It's like, there was always something new. Yet somehow, I don't know, our creative brains always had something new to do. My old principal was so sick. Would come in every single morning, every single day. Every single day, every morning, would come in, say hello to every single class, be like, hey, yo, what's going on, homies? Hope you're having a good one. Hope all is well. Just here to say good morning. Pounce out. Yeah, maybe she just needed some D, man. I don't know. I don't know how old she was. She seemed really old to me when I was in first grade, but you know, when you're in first grade, you're what? Seven? Six? So someone who's like 15 seems really old. And now someone who's 15 sounds insanely young to me. So I, I, she, I don't know how old she was at the time. Probably like late 30s, 40s at least, because I don't know how old you need to be a principal. But basically, yeah, what I'm trying to say, it's my principal was kind of a buzzkill in time.